This Nuke steamer is amazing. It is compact and powerful. It has a digital control of the temperature and makes fantastic microphone. Most importantly, it is a standalone unit that can be paired with any other coffee machine. Here is how and why I made it. Everything started here. This is the Cafelet robot. It is a small manual machine that makes fantastic espresso. I love it. But espresso is the only thing it makes. If you want a cappuccino or a latte, it won't make it for you. The same applies to most other coffee machines, which are typically used at home. They simply won't make you a cappuccino unless you buy a dedicated espresso machine. You can use one of these, but they are just ok and cannot make through microphone. That bothered me. So I started searching and after some making and experimenting I found the solution. My attention initially locked on the Bellman stovetop steamer. It has a 1 liter stainless steel boiler and I was planning to install a heater in it. Fortunately I found that in the past they used to have a similar model but with a base and an integrated heater. That's all I needed. It also functions as a mocha pot. Its model name is CXE25. Currently it can be found on eBay for around $40 to $100 depending on the condition. I ended up buying three of these units. One was for experimentation and I used the newest one for this project. If you buy one of them, make sure to ask the seller to pack them well because one of mine broke during transportation and I had to exchange parts. One big advantage of this unit, besides the large stainless steel boiler, is the easy direct access inside it. It can be cleaned from calcium buildups, sediments or water impurities that accumulate over time, which is something you can never do in a dual boiler espresso machine. This is something not to be underestimated. The main goal of this project was improving the thermal management. These old units use thermostats, which can give you a deviation of more than 20 degrees centigrade. Steam pressure, however, is non-linear and increases rapidly with temperature, so even a small drop in temperature can result in significant loss of pressure. I decided to install a PID with solid state relay. I will not go into technical details now, it's not that complicated. The PID control made all the difference. It keeps the temperature stable, reacts quickly to temperature changes and the machine is able to maintain strong steam power. As with most electric projects, making the housing is more challenging than the actual wiring. As you can see, this thing is packed. To accommodate the new elements, I had to cut the front of the base with a meter saw and build a new faceplate. I also attempted installing a pressure gauge, but it was more challenging than expected. The round sides of the boiler made it difficult to seal the gauge properly, so eventually I gave up, at least for now. Now let's see how the steamer works. After turning it on, the PID initiates and tries to reach the goal temperature. Currently it is set to 127 centigrade or 260 Fahrenheit, which gives me steam pressure of around 2 bars. For those who are unfamiliar, a PID maintains a stable temperature by sending short impulses to the heater and you can see it in action here. Now it is time for a demo. First, making a shot of espresso. Then steaming some milk. This is cold milk, about one quarter of the pitcher. Quite powerful steam.
the volume expands fast. I'm trying to microfoam it for latte. Clean the steamer now. My latte art skills are non existent, and that's the best I can do. Sorry. Now let's compare it to the foam my espresso machine makes. It uses a thermal block, so the thumping sound you hear comes from it. Again, a very good microphone. And next to each other, they look the same. These two make a fantastic pair. You have an excellent menu espresso machine and a standalone steamer you can use only when desired. There is nothing these two cannot do compared to the prosumer Big Brother. I am very happy how this project turned out and hopefully one day we will see something similar on the market. And the presentation is over, but I wanted to show you how much steam you actually have in this boiler, even if it is without power. Turn it off, removing the plug, and let's see how much steam actually there is and for how, for how long it will go. Just steam. That seems to be it. Very dry steam. That's all the water I collected from it. Of course it loses its power, but quite a lot to make one, even two drinks. A good volume boiler.